I'm the Michael Myers fanatic. I'm here to review this piece of garbage called His Name Was Jason. You can clearly see any retard with eyes can clearly see that this is a ripoff of the 2006 documentary Halloween 25 Years of Terror. Any retard can see that. You'd have to be stupid not to know that. Anyway, here's my review. Enjoy. His name was Jason. His name was Jason. His name was Jason? Really? That's funny, because I thought his name was Carl. I mean, I've been watching every Friday the 13th movie from Crystal Lake to Manhattan, but you have to come out with a documentary entitled, His Name Was Jason. You have to tell me his name. I know what his name is. Oh, how do I know? I don't know. I've only seen all 12 of his movies. So, his name was Jason. Basically starts off with some random jabroni running through the forest or whatever, the woods of Crystal Lake. She runs and she sees a dead body. I don't remember scene by scene, but I do know that it's basically um, Tom Savini. He, he's the one that's doing these puns. They're stupid puns. That's what they're, this movie is filled with. Nothing but puns. He's trying too hard to make you laugh. So basically he says that Friday the 13th is this phenomenon, this groundbreaking phenomenon, even though they ripped everything off from Halloween. Like I said in the beginning of the review, any retard with eyes could see that. They had to rip it off so much that they even got the same kind of DVD format as 25 Years of Terror. It's nothing but a ripoff. They just ripped the documentary off. Stealing from the movie was not enough that you had to steal from the documentary, too? You couldn't just steal from the movie? Oh, and by the way, his name was Jason. That sounds a lot like what's on the back of the uh, 25 Years of Terror cover. I don't know. It says his name was Michael Myers, and the night was Halloween. On the back of this, it says, and I quote, his name was Jason, and this is his incredible legacy. Okay. Wow, you, you totally ripped off 25 years. Although it was a little bit different. It wasn't a complete ripoff when you think about it. I mean, after all, it did have a host. PJ Souls was the host of 25 Years of Terror, but you really didn't see her in the documentary. You just heard her voice. And I've reviewed all the Jason movies. I order this on Amazon.com and this is what I get. Wow. A complete ripoff. And check this out. The mask is 3D. Like Michael Myers' mask. Who could have ever seen that coming? The title was the dumbest part of it. His name was Jason. Really? I didn't know that. So basically, throughout the documentary, it keeps showing the girl running. And Tom Savini's just talking about various parts of the franchise. You know, from how they made the special effects and giving reasons why Jason kills people. The only thing I really liked about this documentary was to get another look at Jensen Daggett, the chick who played Rennie from Friday the 13th Part 8, because she's still hot. After 20 years, she still looks hot. The rest of them suck. I mean, let's see, the only other one I would consider kissing, the only one 
who could even match lips with the Michael Myers fanatic is probably the one that plays as Vicky. I forgot her name. I think it's Lauren something or Laurie or something weird like that. Okay, I don't see her name on the back of it. It was okay and unique for what it was. But I felt that Tom Savini tried too hard to be funny. That was my biggest problem with it. Like, it's really not that funny. It was a couple funny scenes, but it's really not that funny. And they just basically ripped off 25 years of terror. That's what they did. And they said, why do you keep saying that? Because it's true. They actually had the grapefruits to sell it as if it's its own thing. And it's not. Man. I don't, I really don't know what to say. Uh, you know, excuse the Michael Myers fanatics language. He knows there are children out there, but that, that was kind of ballsy. I have to give it to you. The Michael Myers fanatic has got to give it to you, Sean Cunningham. That was ballsy. You had the nerve to sell this product as if it was something you invented. This documentary was good. But like I said, it was basically Tom trying to be hilarious, and he wasn't. There was nothing funny about him. They just basically gave you Jason's backstory and reasons for why he did what he did.